Welcome to the Great White North. We are here in the nation's capital, Ottawa, Ontario. Host the Pacific Four 2023. It's all women's rugby action. USA looking for their first victory of the 2023 Pacific Four Championship. And this stadium is ready for some great women's rugby action. But here we go. Match number five of the 2023 Pacific Four World Rugby Championship. <laughs> Iconic rugby nation. These women grow up playing rugby, watching rugby, going to the park with their family and friends. It is in their blood for sure. So anytime you play against them, you know that that's the background. And a lot of teams challenge and a lot of teams try, but they've proven year over year to be one of the world's best. And in this new World Cup cycle, they're proving again with this young team that they are still one of the world's best and they're here to stay. And we will now have one of the rare treats in world rugby, the cultural challenge provided by the Black Ferns, the New Zealand women's team, the world champions. tribute to their culture, but also an invitation to battle. The USA will huddle up. We are, of course, here in Canada on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe and Algonquin people. But here we go. Match number five of the 2023 Pacific Four World Rugby Championships. New Zealand kicking off in their Traditional black jerseys. The ball is bobbled by Freda Tafuna, so New Zealand immediately on the tack. As we said, some relatively inexperienced players for New Zealand, but no less dangerous nonetheless. Grace Steinmetz gets her first touch. Strong carry from Grace Nungo. Well, clinical stuff, although they've spilled the ball. Pops into Katie Benson's hands. So a turnover for each team to start this, and there's another one. So we're going to come back to the original penalty. As we mentioned, two new caps in Farungotilo and Nungo joining Amy Rule in that New Zealand front row. Benson, Trader, and Jacoby up against him. Be solid for the moment. Jacoby coming at 100 kgs, and she's won the penalty for the rest of her team. And it's going to be a quick tap from Rachel Johnson. There's some numbers there for the moment. But good positive play from the U.S. And there's a half cap into space. There's a nice offload. Good work. But tracking back well is Steinmetz. USA, that initial encouragement. Steinmetz again getting involved. And a big head collision there. Ball spilled loose. Cleaned up by Dedevo. So positive play. U.S. are inside the New Zealand half. Strong carry from Katie Benson, who plays her professional rugby with the Sale Sharks in Manchester. One goes wide, looking to take the corner, gets too close to the sideline. Summer Harris-Jones, perhaps a little bit of 15's inexperience USA there. Ball. Thank you. Allowing the New Zealand to use that sideline as an extra defender. USA That's created the overlap really well there. They only had two defenders out wide. Captain, number nine. Iritana Hohaya. 
This is not a, a great move for tackle, any international head -head, player. High of danger, red card. It is red. We'll go back. So Chris, New Zealand will be please. playing the rest of this match one short. I think in some ways she knew it was coming, but it's still an awful moment for any rugby player. Marina Tohi now. Top of the tee. Maybe called upon. Back up nine, but they're going to mix it up for the moment. In defense are New Zealand, and it's the drive from the USA. So a few things going here as well. And there's the half cap. Great break. What a play from the US forwards. Freda Dafuno gets the first score for the Eagles. Look at the celebration. It's the exact response that you want if the team you're playing has gone down a person. Mackenzie Hawkins looking to add two more. Nice little chip shot. Job done. So 7-0, the early lead for the USA. Little indecision there. Janine Dedevo, the Knoxville Minx, gets her hands on, and she's still going on her feet. She said two tries for her in the loss to Australia. That was one of the only bright sides for the USA. Really good phases of play. The U.S. making the Kiwi girls work. This one goes out the back door. It was on to push it through the hands, but they decided to kick. So there's a first touch for Grace Steinmetz. Coming into the nine roll is Rosie Kelly. We know she can great rugby brain on her. She can step into 10, 15, or looks like she'll be playing nine for the moment. North Islander is going to test her full range of skills. Oh, surely off her feet, the American players flopped on that. Referees let them play on, so everything going USA's way at the moment. They're going to try and clear the lines. Mackenzie shows and gets back onto her right foot. Again, sticks it right down the throat of New Zealand fullback Willinson. So a nervy. Uncharacteristic start for the Black Ferns. Great insides into the referees. You will see a yellow here, and the mitigation is because the other tackler was there, perhaps she pushed her into um, the I'll tackling explain. player. It's a high tackle. It's also made direct contact to the head, but this one's different. There was another player in the contact, so it's mitigated down to a yellow. Come on, speak your mind, Ms. Landry. <laughs> you also have Tanika Willison out in the back line there. Oh, they shift it. It was on. What a well worked move. Short ball, reaching out. Grace Munro, in her debut, gets New Zealand on the board. Let's go! Crouch! Boys! Set! Great shot of Freda Tafuna on the flank there. New Zealand have regrouped. Rosie Kelly flips it out. Nice exit strategy being executed here. Grace Booker doing well. Kelly has a little look for herself. Short ball there. Not quite on the same page. Jonah Nang Wu. Again, that flat ball. Good to see. Got a hat trick. In the big victory over Canada, but also did so much great work off the ball. She was the MasterCard player of the match. Play on. Ball's out. Play on. Stolen. Opportunity here for U.S. Again, pass not to hand. Coming back in field where most of the black jerseys are. And she's met one of the biggest. Yeah, it. Ball's out. Play on. Makes her mark. Another tackle from her. Great work rate from the big number eight. Last week she hit eight rucks in 40 seconds. Quite a remarkable stat. If you want to get on social media, you can see it. The USA now threatening five meters out. Lots of white jerseys over the ball. Jacoby wins the collision. Now it's released. Vantage being played to US as New Zealand were offside. Holding up to that back foot at ruck time. Trying to go for the quick no kick, but we'll come back for the penalty. Offside. 
Quick tap. Georgie Paris ready. She's brought down three meters short. With the flow goes Rachel Johnson. Still going. Can she reach out and score? Referee says yes. Rachel Johnson for the USA. USA in complete control right now. Go through the full routine, and you see the shot clock is up there. 90 seconds after a try. Clean strike, clean points. Two more, so it's 14 points to five. U.S. Surprisingly, for many, up over New Zealand. You're fine where you are. Yep. Use white. White have been told to use it. They peel out the side. Stop and go from Hangatau. Hands on it by Grace Ungo. Almost stole it, but off didn't. Feet. Again, New Zealand off their feet. Another penalty. New advantage. Eight's in the way. New advantage for White. At the Hangatau. Great movement. Simple skill execution by the U.S. Ten meters out. Still pounding away. Katie Benson's on it at the base. She's going to have a dabble. She gets a couple of hard yards. Now the troops arrive. It's her prop partner, Jacoby. A steady diet of pick and go has got several penalty advantage. Eric, he's knocked back. Now, a cross kick. It sliced off the boot, but knowing they had an advantage, they're going to come back. And the referee's going to have a word, I believe, because it's a series of penalties against New Zealand. Captain. And we'll listen to this conversation, but I think I gave you that was three or four advantages. You're eight in the, way in the 22, slowing the ball down. It's going to be a yellow card. Sending your eight. That's too many. So I do think that's fair. There was a warning. This is official, yep. Liana Michele yep. to it. Yep, where's the mark? Shot called. You could hear them call for points and then maybe wanted to go back to the scrum, but once you've called it, you've called it. But again, the pressure off your sorry, New, New, USA is putting under New Zealand yep. Yep. is forcing these penalties at the breakdown. And you could see the face of Maya Roos there when Julianne Zussman called her in. There was nothing she could do about it because she knew that that's what was coming. You could sense the frustration. Hawkins adds three for the U.S. They've got 17 up on the board against New Zealand's five. Normal service for this good one out, hard running and winning collisions like that time and time again. The size of the U.S. has really paid off and the occasional tip pass like that has produced results. It's made it very hard for the world champions to defend. They're gonna get off the field. They're gonna be happy with heading into the shed. Up 12 points. And that will do it for the half. So, big celebrations for the women in white. And it'll be back to the drawing board for the world champions as they're down 12 points. USA 17, New Zealand 5. Johnson again. Flat ball. Dedevo. Snap two tackles though. She's crawling forward. Nice support from the open side, Georgie Paris Redding. She served 10 minutes on the sideline after an early yellow. Of course, the story of the match is the red card. A couple players down behind play. So US short for the moment. Of course, New Zealand started this second half with a yellow card. Still just over five minutes to serve in that one. So players all over the field. The ball in play. Looked like Summer Jones is, Harris Jones is maybe free. Tackle! But they're inside the New Zealand 22 again. Great red zone possession for the U.S. in that first half. Looking to convert into more points. Back door. Nothing on out wide. The stop and go from Fury. Release, Black. Release. New Zealand were guilty of nine penalties in that first half. Uncharacteristic for them. The inside ball to Dedevo. Well read by the New Zealand in defense. Quick pick from Zachary. 
Four meters out. Benson on the ball, just short of the line. Looking for the reach out as she held up. Referee right on the spot. Held up is the call. USA have come out with the exact same intensity as they ended that first half. Working themselves phase after phase down the field. Well, this was oh. Benson. Looked like she might get there. Almost in, about a, me a foot out there. Get there, get there. And then New Zealand's defense, look at the low shot there, getting hands on the ball, wrapping her up. Right away, New Zealand. Okay, let's go. So goal line dropout for New Zealand as the ball was held up over the line, taken in by the USA. Decent kick, but possession in the hands of Hangatau. Big, powerful runner, 93 kgs. One of the biggest players on the team. The props are only 100 kgs. Really good work at the breakdown. Well recycled ball. This time off the foot. Gathered up by the fresh legs of Demand, and she's still going. She loves the open field. Eyes up, heads up. New Zealand fans screaming. She decides to kick into space. It's going to be a foot race. Dedevau is up on it, up against Renee Holmes. Holmes gets her hands on it. Can she reach around? Into touch. Yeah. That's the impact of Ruahe Demand. Some collects that kick downfield. Uh, one and three, Black. Beats one, one defender, beats a second Shots. defender, has them sliding and skating on the turf out here. Spots the outside support player and a lovely little kick in behind. And Renee Holmes inches <laughs> away there. New Zealand player on the wrong side, but the referee deeming there's not much she could do about it. So they're going to clear the lines. Another low kick goes straight down the throat of Renee Holmes. She started at fullback in the first match against Canada. Straight to the middle, siding and still going, flipping it inside. Maria Torino, try for New Zealand. Chase on the open side of the field. And the seas just parted for Kelsey Tinetti, who with the offload on side to Marino Tahino. Tahino. Marino Tahino, one of the leaders, one of the veteran heads in this team. She's got her second try for her national team. Crucial at this stage. Thank you. Just, Just to call. give you perspective again, last time out, it's 50 points to six. New Zealand dominating USA in Northland in June of 22. So New Zealand back to 14 players. The yellow card has expired. Everything going their way. And now a penalty. And Kennedy Simon has also come onto the, onto the field. So almost the entire bench is on the field now. And they've wisely chosen to have a shot at goal, go for the three points. So with Kennedy Simon and Rebehai Demant, two New Zealand Order of Merit recipients after their leadership of a very, very successful Rugby World Cup down in New Zealand. And that'll, this penalty will give Renee Holmes a chance. 35 meters out and straight in front. Renee Holmes for the Black Ferns. Hits it down the middle. They're clawing their way back. Now 17 points to 15. And the Valley's at the back there. Good ball. Kaluna Valley circles around the front. A set move. She gets close to the line, but she shorts as the referee. Quick pick. The white line fever. Cheers go out. Maybe Georgia Ponsonby, but a forward strike, no question about it. New Zealand take the lead. Renee Holmes looks to extend the lead. She's having a look. Looks good. Yes, it is. A crucial kick. 
So just like that, New Zealand up by five points. Again, doesn't go to hand, but it's tapped back well. The hit, the shove. Mikael Duo. Great athleticism from her, cleaning up the tap from Lucy Jenkins. Maybe not how they drew it up, but New Zealand stretch the lead. Line out opportunity, look at her power, just sends her flying. Well, a nightmare there for Dedeval with her. Michele Tuo bearing down on her. Another strike from Holmes, another two points. Credit New Zealand there, one player short. They've stolen the line out here. Good work from them, ends up in the hands of Chelsea Bremner. Yeah, this is the experience. Lucy Jenkins really sharp. Valley's had a ton of carries in the second half since she's come on. Sounding through the hole. Ula demands. The class, you can't keep her down for long. She came on to right the ship, and she's added one more try here in the second half. Well, she thought she was going to have a quiet day today, but she came on at 30 minutes. She's controlled the game. She's likely calmed her team. She's rewarded here with the little run in. USA just looking too tired in the end. Cheers, mate. game is very much in control up by 17 now they're going to release it coming short on a big line is duplicy constant offloads constant skills under pressure this is the black ferns these are the world champions we've come to expect duplicy seeing a half gap real energy now back up and intensity back up. alan bunting will be very happy with oh pip love with the sublime catch and pass USA doing their best to hold the line, but still going as Bremner. She's on it. First well, we're into phase on. 12 Play here, on. and the bell's been stolen. The breakout from the USA. Nope. There's no rock. There's no rock. said the ref. There was no offside positioning. No, wait, release. Brought down is out. Use USA. Hold. Use it. Thank you. Olivia Ortiz. First of all, Ashley she's Brooker. Done. Spilled at that run. Now there's options for New Zealand hitting the line. Good carry from Jenkins. She puts it out wide. And as she did last week on three occasions, Amy Dulacy scores for New Zealand. points remarkable tough kick from the far sideline intensity still there we saw it at the anthems we saw it right to the death that's how the black ferns play rugby the fish ball short so that will do it full time a brave usa performance but in the end 34 unanswered points from the women in black. They win this one 39 points to 17 over the USA.
Maya, you are the youngest player to ever captain New Zealand. How important is that to you and your family? Um, it's really special. Uh, I hope my family is real proud. They're back home in New Zealand and the Cook Islands and have some family in the States. And so it was really special to be able to captain against the place of my birth. Really beautiful moments. And on the field today, 39-17. How did that feel going into the second half? Uh, yeah, I don't think the end score reflects the effort and the, I guess, the game that the U.S. came out with. They came out hissing and, um, yeah, it was a real tough game, but we found a way. We obviously have a lot of um, new young talent that we're looking to grow and develop, and so this was a really good game for that. But uh, Sparkies came on and we really lifted in the second half. Congratulations on the game and congratulations on the Pac-4 Championship. Thank you.